What's up guys? So a few videos ago, I was talking about my Nikon F3, uh, basically how cool it was, you know, how uh, I love to shoot with it and, and kind of all the neat tricks that it could do. And now I'm not a Nikon fanboy. I'm not, I promise. Uh, but I was just kind of talking about the neat things that the F3 could do, uh, one of which is taking a whole bunch of multiple exposures very easily with the camera. You know, one of the favorite features that, that I like about it uh, is this multiple exposure lever here. I can take, you know, two, three, 10, 20, as many as I want, really, exposures on the same frame very easily with this camera, uh, you know, just by activating this little lever here. Do a 20 exposure vid with the F3 next, bro, lol. Challenge accepted. All right. Now, I thought that capturing movement might be like a, a great way to accentuate layered exposures. So I opted to shoot a stationary object uh, and have some, you know, clouds have some movement in the background. And to do this, I, I needed a windy day. And I'll tell you what, I, I can't believe it was so windy. I can't believe it didn't take the, uh, the tripod and the camera down. It was pretty brutal. Now, normally when you're shooting cloud trails, you're going to do like long exposures and you're going to use the, the, you know, bulb mode where the shutter is going to be constantly open or you're going to do like a multiple second exposure. So your, your shutter is going to be uh, constantly open. The clouds are going to kind of streak or drag across the frame. But in these layered exposures, the, the clouds kind of had more of a, a tracking or kind of like spots. Uh, along the frame because of the opening and the closing of the shutter, which it, honestly, I think it looks really, really neat. And it, it's definitely a different look than if you were to just take a, a timed long exposure. Now that shot of the archives building with the clouds was taken on T-Max 100. Uh, it was at the end of a roll, but I also wanted to get some color shots. So I popped in a roll of uh, Pro Image 100. And, uh, and I also wanted to kind of pull the, the camera off the tripod and, and see if I could handhold it uh, just to kind of see, you know, what kind of effect that would give and, and how that would look. Now, while 20 exposures is definitely doable, um, just kind of for ease of calculations, um, I dropped the, the roll of uh, Pro Image down to just 12 exposures per frame. To give you guys an idea of what I did to adjust the exposure to stack all of these shots, I was shooting 100 ISO film. I would move my ISO from 100 to 6400. And that's basically going to give me uh, six shots um, if I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and stack that because uh, if I was to follow the, the rule of thumb that for every additional exposure when you're doing multiple exposures, you want to reduce your ISO by one stop. So. 100 to 6400 would get us a reduction of six stops. I would take note of what the meter is telling me there. I set that to my camera, uh, but I still need to get some additional uh, stops there. So to do that, I would basically half my aperture. For the black and white T-Max image, I basically did this method plus added some filters uh, because I did need some additional stops on top of the, the 12 stacked. Um, so to, to make up you know, for that, I went ahead and uh, I would use an eddy filter um, as well as a uh, 25A red filter. If you want to get technical, you know, there's things like reciprocity failure that would kind of come into play with this. Um, any, anytime you, you expose for a long period of time um, or expose multiple times, you know, onto a film, basically the more you expose onto film, the less sensitive it becomes. So if you want to get scientific about it, I mean, this isn't like the exact exposure, you know, the, the whole drop one stop rule, you know, th there's really more science to it. But out in the field, I just kind of want to get in the ballpark. And, you know, this method worked for me. So what do you guys think of this? Uh, me personally, I, I really liked it. You know, I, I liked how everything turned out. And I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing this or, or shooting like this again in the future. I think the, the results were, were something that were definitely worth exploring more. If you guys wouldn't mind, if you could please do me a favor and go ahead, smash that like button, maybe share it. That'd be cool too. I hope everybody's well and until the next video, we'll see you.